France will not attend the International Climate Change Summit in Egypt next month. Douglas Murray with me now. Are you surprised that the new king is walking away from politics? Because that's what he's doing here. Uh, I'm not surprised. I think it's, it's very good that he yeah. is. Uh, it appears that he's doing so on the advice of the British Prime Minister Liz Truss, and she suggested that he shouldn't attend next month's uh, COP27 conference in Egypt. And I th I, the reason I think that, is, well, there's two reasons why this is important. First of all, of course, uh, King Charles, when he was Prince of Wales, was heavily political. He very often spoke out about highly political issues, which worried a lot of people, because in a con constitutional monarchy, you cannot have a king basically having his own policies. The second thing is, of course, is that uh, King Charles has had a lifelong commitment to environmental causes. And what would happen if, for instance, he spoke at the summit, urged people to have, for instance, carbon uh, uh, targets uh, for the next few years, and they didn't match up with the targets of the British government? You'd have effectively a constitutional crisis. So it's very good he's not going. I hope he does more of this not speaking on things. What do you make of uh, new Prime Minister Liz Truss reversing a decision uh, to cut taxes on high-income earners. Um, what was the situation? The, the government's in turmoil over there. It, it is. Um, Liz Truss has only been Prime Minister for a month, that is, under a month. Uh, she has uh, already had her first major U-turn after her first major financial announcements. Uh, the mini-budget, as it was called, of the week before last, uh, sent the markets into turmoil, as you know, uh, caused an enormous political backlash in the UK, has put Labour up to 20 points ahead in the polls, uh, if there would be an election tomorrow, has caused uh, Conservative MPs to actually speculate as to whether or not it's actually time to get rid of Liz Truss. And now the U-turn over the 45p uh, tax change. That's, that's a very humiliating thing, but it's probably less humiliating to make that U-turn at this stage than to stick to a policy which was already seeing revolutions in her own party. What an extraordinary situation in the space of just a few couple of weeks. That's all you got here. Good stuff, that's Douglas. <laughs> People with British accents are in the news, and that's a fact. Douglas, we'll see you again real soon. <laughs> Thanks a lot. The more, the better. Oh, whatever you say.